Hey, what is up guys? Alright, just an update on the VFD controller. I had some more fun with this thing, but I uh, replaced these temporary, you know, breadboard made controller. You know, there's some parts, all the relays and everything are taken off. So of course it looks like there's nothing on there. That was a relay board, well. Set up that way on the other board, so I gotta re reprogram that. It doesn't even really matter though. And then the uh, I labeled this. The only uh, other issue I did have though was see how I made that. This is the, supposed to be the high voltage relay to switch the 120 volts to the contact. That was supposed to switch the 120 volt contactors to that little relay right here. But uh, I still was getting interference. Must be the relays that I chose for my design. Uh, when the contact opens, I get a bunch of, uh, like, some sort of spike induced across the pick, uh, coil, you know, winding to something somehow, and it spasms out my VFD, makes it restart. I had issues with it before, and that's why I had to make that little relay board I had down here before for the, to stop doing that. So I thought, you know, it shielded everything about it would be okay, but it must be the style of this relay. It just must be, the points must be really close to the 5-volt coil that's driven off the electronics. It was just spazzing it out, the little, you know, diode there was not able to suppress it. I mean, it suppresses the reverse polarity voltage spike, but... It must uh, not been working, you know, there must have been in polarity, you know, whatever that kind of little surge I was getting. If I had a metal oxide barrister or something, maybe putting that across the coil, maybe it would have fixed that. I don't know, you know. Anyway, a little more beautiful. Got everything zip tied. Got some of those sticky little wire strap things. Got them over here. I use this ribbon cable instead of another cable. It just goes over, comes up into there. And there's a spare board. So which I've bent it already. That'll be kept in this uh, electrostatic bag and just left in here. So all you have to do is just unplug this stuff, put it there, and plug it in. This doesn't even have to be there for it to work. This is almost more for feedback from me. That's why I, I put the cable really long, which I've bunched up there, because I was going to put that external, like mounted on a box here, or cut through the panel. I decided not to. This is really out here just for somebody that doesn't know, just to go, oh, I want to stop the pump. I got leak. Bam, and it's going to do it. Or switch pumps. That's all it needs to do. Probably put some instructions listed out there for the sequence. It's a delay, you know. But other than that, this is just mainly for my diagnostics. So I'm just going to leave that right there like it is. So, uh, I changed the fan setup. Somebody bought, We ordered this fan for something else, for a cooling, a cabinet space in a kitchen, where someone had a little reach-in shoved. And uh, they said it was too loud. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, well, I'll give you the small one from here, and I'll put this monster one in here. So... Also, I took that one out from there and put it on the side because I realized I'd put the fan on top. If I ever get a leak in here, water sprays up. It'll roll right down into my VFD. I don't want that. So fans over there away from where the water is. Water's not going to get in the VFD now. So this is all beveled, so it won't, it won't run in there. So pretty much good to go. Take this out of there and put my board away. And pretty much golden other than when I get the chance I'll come maybe reprogram that so it's reading a little more literal on the readings but it works and if you turn the supply water off it still stops from low pressure alarm it stops the pump like if the city water gets turned off so we're doing good okay I'm trying to update the program so I can get the scale correct uh, reading this other pressure sensor that file. Okay. Program. Yes, so now 
right now it's riding to the e prom. pretty much trial and error. The, you, we use the older transducer and it's not 0 to 10 volts, it's 1 to 11 volts. That's just kind of weird. I'm not going to be able to read that last volt because my thing's it's going to clip. But uh, yeah, it's pretty close now. 60 something. Pressure's dancing around there a little bit. Now I just got to reprogram the low pressure cutoff to come in a little earlier. scale of the pressure readings on there. Again, that's only for my own diagnose, diagnosis and uh, also to operate for the low pressure cutoff. Shut off the water line. 65, 60 bouts. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close. Lay that pressure down. See if we can kick kicks there. 30. About 30 and shit. There it goes. Turn that off. That worked goes below 30 PSI inlet. Turn the water valve back on. Bring it back up. Probably better lower that just a little bit. If there's ever any air in the line or anything like that. We try 20, or actually let's try out. Shut that water pressure down again. Okay, it's still working. Cool. Let's kick this on that. Sweet. Okay. They were golden. Okay, I'm gonna finish dialing that in, but pretty much uh, demonstrated why I set it up that way and how I program it. That's close enough. I do have this bump down a little bit. And it's thought it bounces up and down when people are using open and closing water. I mean, it's a big building, so the pressure is not a consistent. BFD's gonna, you know, see it's going up and down. It's going to do that. So I think it's controlling pretty good. So all right, I think that's close enough. Right, so pretty much there you have it. It was all done, and I was just doing the last little bit of fine tuning, which was with the software there, to uh, see if I can get this off of there without pulling the chip out. There we go. This little thing is $20. Let's focus. And this little thing just clips on. It's like $20 for that thing, and I soldered on it. The other one I soldered on the board, that one's in a socket. It looks pretty sweet. Running great, so, all right.
Alright, well that'll be should be about do it from the updates for this. So. Pretty cool little project. I like making electronic stuff like that. start getting on some other projects around here. And more on the Mustang 